Hello, my name is Stephen Kodijay from Bosch Jagari. I am the 22 year old Ghanaian architect who designed the Accra railway station, you know, uh, in Ghana. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank Kodijay for basically sharing the work for me. I would like to thank him and I appreciate him a lot. God bless him for that. Um, before we move on to the, you know, the main project of the station, I would like to brief in a bit about more information about the project. Um, why did I choose railway station? Why did I choose railway station basically? But before that, I would like to say that before choosing the railway station, I had to choose, I had to go through four ideas that I had in mind. The first idea that I had was urban design. I wanted to make houses of real estate, uh, you know, houses of real estate in Poland here. But I didn't like the idea of building in Poland, so I decided to make. I decided to move to uh, Ghana. The idea about development of Ghana, many areas that need to be developed, and it was not accepted because um, there's a huge project for diploma project. Then I went to choose business park. A business park also was a huge project, and then I went to choose a skyline. Yeah, skyline. Why did I choose a skyline? I chose a skyline because. Uh, I wanted to align, you know, align myself with the vision of Ghana for 2030, as they want to align the skyline near the what's called the, the sea. So I did that. I chose that, but as according to my analysis of Accra City, I've not seen a building that is around 38 to 40 floors yet. That is why it's going to be a problem for me to do that. So it was not accepted. And then my fourth design was basically entitled Hope for the Homeless. Hope for the homeless as in I was going to design I was going to use sustainable materials eco-friendly materials to provide shelters for homeless people who find it you know hard to struggle I mean to to uh, stay in you know many uh, you know stay in many cold places so Poland was my example somehow I could have gone for Ghana as well but this was not accepted it was too small for a project and then I began to think of more problems that are in Ghana now one of the problems that I spotted in Ghana was traffic congestion. Yes, these minibuses called Trotro and you know these uh, taxis uh, is congested in mainly in this capital city Accra and in some places yeah but not all. But when these are uh, when these things get congested in uh, Accra, it causes problems to many companies as many people commute to work. Now Many people commuting to work somehow affects the government at the end of the year somehow because the government loses a lot due to lack of uh, due to develop due to less developed infrastructure. You see, but how, how do they lose a lot? They lose a lot because people get to work late, and instead of them to work 40 hours to 60 hours, they work about 35 to let's say 35 to let's say uh, 40 hours, let's say. And this causes a loss of you know money for the government somehow because they also benefit from companies. You see, it affects the company and it affects the government. And that is something that I, I decided to choose. And also another problem was that seeing that Accra railway station has been like as it has been for years, I believe that something needs to change. The environment needs to look attractive. You know, it had to be attractive and be an inspiration of how designs can be. In future in Ghana and that is why I chose railway station with additional function in Accra Ghana now what really inspired me to do this building what really inspired me to choose railway station um, you know the first inspiration was the skeleton structure of the porcupine now as many of you can know porcupine is a national emblem of the Ashantis I know that Accra is filled with Ghana people who were known to my who were known to basically migrate from Nigeria originally and in 1661, you know, there was this economic boom that many people migrated to uh, Accra and populated the place. But the national emblem of the porcupine is the Ashanti. Is the Ashanti. But the main, the main purpose uh, was basically to blend the culture of Ghana with my design. And that is why I chose the porcupine because when you look on human perspective, the porcupine, you see, you begin to see the, the skeleton of the porcupine, which is the roof, the roof shape. But when you begin to look on the top view, you do not see that. You see the shape. You see the shape of the sword of authority. That is my second inspiration. The sword of authority is the sword that basically a president holds when they are sworn in. 
So that was my two inspirations. They, I blended both inspiration from top view and human perspective and I made a design out of it. And I hope this really inspires many youths out there. You know, when you're designing, you need to you know, find inspirations. Inspirations are really important because it can back up your point, it can help you along with your design process. And it can also give you your, your form ideas. It can make you visualize how it will look more. So it is, like, inspiration is really important. Find inspirations and then start designing. What are the kind of things that are going to be in the building? That's going to be in the building. Basically, they're going to, the building is the building itself. It's symmetrical. One side is the same as the other side. But I decided to put the main entrance right in the middle of the railway station. So, in the entrance, basically there are three main entrances: one on the north, one on the south, one on the east. Uh, the east one is the uh, what's it called the main entrance. And you see. Um, also, there are two exit doors as well in case of any fire, fire emergency, there's two exit doors at the lobby area. Once you enter the main entrance, the first thing you see is the lobby. Now, the lobby consists of exchange currency, uh, it consists of information desk, it consists of two, uh, two, uh, two boarding tickets, another two boarding tickets. And these, uh, these offices also contain uh, washrooms for staff, it, was, it contains a uh, storage room, it contains staff area. Uh, for both of these uh, buildings and it will be made with gypsum board which is 15 centimeters uh, exterior and then uh, 8 centimeters in the interior. In the railway station uh, it consists of also administration space such as technical room, storage room, security room, monitoring room, uh, you know, there are lot, the, basically the technical room stuff, uh, you know, the monitoring room, everything. It consists of security as well. Uh, they make sure they are the administration of the railway station. Also, the, the ground floor also consists, this is the ground floor that I'm describing right now because it's the entrance. The ground floor also consists of, um, it consists of luggage deposit area which is near the, term, which is near the, the platform. So, it consists of two platforms, yeah, it consists of two platforms, one for arrival and one for departure. So, it's, that's how basically uh, railway stations, uh, normal railway stations sometimes, you know, okay. And because Accra is the last stop, basically there's no more railway that's continuing from there. So I decided to uh, make one stop and one arrival. Now, how do you connect to the first floor? You connect to the first floor with an escalator. There are two escalators on each platform areas. One going up, one going down. Also, there is uh, two elevators that are in the railway station. There is also uh, two main stairs that are connected next to each elevator. And this makes it more convenient, you know, for many uh, disabled people as well. It gives them more accessibility and a lot of things. Now, what are some of the solutions that I was able to pick from this railway station? Um, you know, there were, you know, many solutions such as HVAC solutions. Uh, there, uh, there are solutions such as fire safety solutions, such as using materials and a lot of things. There are material solutions as well. Uh, for example, anti-clothing, uh, anti, uh, anti-slippery floor tiles, uh, you know, for the lobby areas and stuff. There were uh, ecological ecology solutions, ecology ecological uh, solutions. There were uh, what's it called? There were also structure solutions. You know the system. The system is basically built with an inbuilt structure, which is a tree-like structure that uh, supports four parts of the building. Along the platform, there is this V-shaped column that also supports the roof and everything. Uh, the stairs, everything also acts as a support to the first floor and you know all these solutions came uh, there is this uh, energy efficient solution as well energy efficient solutions all these uh, you know solutions that also came along with the project that I made and I once again I would like to say thank you very much for listening freedom freedom freedom, freedom. freedom.